Affinity spaces, like all spaces, can alter, expand, and evolve over time. The website Genius.com offers an instructive look at how affinity spaces can change to encompass new areas of interest. It also shows how smartly conceived portals can generate content in dynamic ways. The story of Genius.com begins in 2009, but originally the site was known as RapGenius.com. As the subheading states, the common endeavor of this affinity space was to, quote, discover the meaning of rap lyrics, unquote. The primary generator or content for RapGenius.com was its large storehouse of rap and hip hop lyrics. In this respect, it was not that different than many other lyric depositories on the web. What distinguished Rap Genius and fueled its popularity was that it possessed a lyric annotation function. Users of the site could highlight a chunk of text and offer their explanation of the meaning of not just the song overall, but of those specific lines. Afterward, any time a subsequent user clicked on those lyrics, the user-generated annotation would appear. Other users who disagreed with the interpretation or wished to add another element to the analysis of those lines could do so. Site editors, a type of leadership role, were tasked with synthesizing the various contributions into the one viewers initially see when clicking on the lines. The popularity of the Rap Genius format has led to natural expansion into other fields of content. First, other genres of music were added, then literary texts were added. In 2014, the site changed its name to Genius.com to better represent its more all-encompassing nature beyond just rap. New genres continue to be added, including TV and movie texts. By its very nature, Genius.com places a high value on cataloging content. It also has well-developed and documented best practices when it comes to how to contribute strong annotations. Knowledge is also highly distributed across users and across the entire site. Genius.com also features a ranking system known as IQ. Users receive IQ points for contributing knowledge to the site in the form of song information or annotations. They receive more points when their peers upvote their annotations as being high quality. They may lose IQ points, however, if their contributions are heavily downvoted or if a site editor rejects an annotation altogether. Charts rank the users with the most IQ points over different time spans. There are also charts that show which users have the most IQ for specific artists. These users are known as top scholars. In this way, both extensive and intensive knowledge is valued and encouraged. Over time, Genius.com has added other portals for accessing and participating with content, including direct audio links to nearly every popular song, a user forum for extended discussions, and even a neat rap stats feature which charts how frequently a given word or phrase appears in rap lyrics over time. One of the most significant evolutions in the website was the 2012 introduction of verified artist accounts. These are the actual musical artists who have chosen to participate in the Genius.com environment, offering thoughts and insights into their own songs. Annotations by verified artists appear alongside those generated by community members. This is another example of newbies and masters sharing a common space. Additionally, the verified artists can be seen as generators in their own right. An exciting recent development is the introduction of News Genius, an area of the site for analyzing the coverage of current events and politics. Major newspapers like the Washington Post and Los Angeles Times have adopted the Genius.com format to annotate and fact check the recent presidential and vice presidential debates. Viewers can choose to see only the annotations of the newspaper staff or all users. It seems like there is no end to what can be annotated on the web using Genius.com. So what implications does the growth and evolution of Genius.com have for learning in school? The practice of annotating text has been around for centuries, but technology can mediate this activity by making it more efficient, accessible, and collaborative. The site can and does already serve as a portal for accessing more academic literary texts. There's no reason that other educational texts could not also be used, whether science textbooks, historical documents and social studies, and so on. Indeed, Genius.com has created a Chrome browser extension that allows the annotation of any online text. A classroom could use the tool to offer feedback to peer writing in a collaborative format. 
The multimodality of not only the website, but also the user's interaction with it is another aspect that educators may look to adopt. When annotating, users can easily link to outside texts, embed images, or even use audio clips to better illustrate their point. Classrooms might also look to borrow or repurpose the verified artist aspect of Genius.com. That is to say, it is often worthwhile to seek out the authors of work being studied. In the University of Arkansas Creative Writing program, for example, there is a poetry class where students do individual book studies of contemporary poets and are encouraged to contact the writers themselves. While an author's view naturally carries significant authority, it is important to note that in the Genius.com scheme, the verified artist is not the end all of interpretation. User interpretations are still valued and in some regards considered more insightful. Perhaps the most important pedagogical implication of Genius.com is the notion that everything is a text that can be read, analyzed, and interpreted according to understood conventions and designs of a given discourse. The world around us is filled with opportunities for literacy events and literacy practices. This is a powerful perspective for students to take on and for students to enact in their daily practice.